look at we've got two big dents right here and right here welcome back to the channel guys my name is casey and this is my 2020 jeep wrangler eco diesel and today we are taking this Gobi roof rack off and we're gonna be replacing it with Metal Cloak's new adventure rack system. Now before we take it off, let me explain a couple of things that I don't like about this rack so far, which has led me to wanna change it out. And then as we install the new Metal Cloak rack, I'll talk to you about some of the features that it has. And when it's done, we'll do a full walk around check it out and I'll show you guys just how awesome this new rack is gonna be. A couple of the big challenges that I have with this rack, well, as much as they say it's designed to work with a soft top, honestly, I am not convinced. It touches the soft top. We had to put pool noodles underneath it and you can hear this thing rubbing and chafing on my roof while we're driving and when we're on the trails as well as it buffets with the roof. And I just think that over time it's gonna damage the roof and maybe it already has. We'll have to check it out when we get this off. That's just not something I want long-term and the new rack isn't gonna touch the soft top at all. Well, I have a lot of complaints about just how this rack actually attaches and stabilizes itself with the body. So it's mounted to the bottom of the body underneath here, underneath the bumper. And you can see that this is chafing my bumper already starting to rust a little bit. This joint isn't straight anymore. That's completely sideways. And I just don't think that this is going to last with the off-road, uh, with the off-roading that we do, as well as it stabilizes itself here on the body. And I think we might actually have to go see a body shop uh, about this because when we take this off and take these little panels off that they put underneath these, which these things keep coming loose, you can see right here, it started to damage the paint. And I think it actually caved in the side of my Jeep a little bit. Even with a hard top, you'd still have the same mounting setup. And I don't know guys, this dented my Jeep. I'm not gonna be very happy. This whole video isn't about how I dislike the Gobi rack. We're gonna focus on the new adventure rack system from Metal Cloak once we get it on. And I'll show you guys those awesome features. But I just wanted to tell you a couple things that I don't like so far with the Gobi rack and has really led me to want to take it off. And wait till you see this new rack from Metal Cloak. It's gonna do a much better job at holding some of this extra weight. Let's get this peeled off. We gotta get the rooftop tent off first and then we'll get the rack off and we'll start installing the new one. So we're just unbolting the rack. We took these uh, pieces off here that were, you know, where the rubber stopper hits and look at, we've got two big dents right here and right here. So we're gonna have to talk to a uh, dent removal company or something, see if we can get these pulled out. I hope I don't have to get this whole corner painted, but that right there is super annoying. So we've got the rack off now. Quick inspection of the sock top. Now we only had this Gobi rack on for six months and I'm glad we took this off now because right here, even with the foam noodles we put on the crossbars, it's rubbing. And I think if we would have left that metal on there, it would have rubbed right through, but it's almost through. It's, it's taken all of the texture off the soft top and it's shiny right here on this cross rail. All right, check these out. These are the brackets for the front hoop. So look how much beefier this bracketry is. The front hoop on this system doesn't need to touch your, uh, doesn't need to touch your windshield frame at all. It doesn't need the rails that go to the back. It's fully self-supporting. You can actually buy this hoop on its own if you want to use it for light cubes and grab handles. But here, check this out. Just a little mock up here, but we're going to put some brackets underneath of this to support it because the cowl is just plastic but that's what we're replacing the other rack with this is definitely going to hold your fat <laughs> if you watched last week's video we've got the catwalk that's going to go across the hood i'll get that out in a second but that's going to attach to this as well if we're going to drop one of these two things it's the box <laughs> all right so we got the I think this is the front hoop. Let's find out in a second. Yep, 
integrated grab handles, two inch tubing. This is definitely looking a lot stronger already. Still all uh, some shoulder presses. <laughs> so we're just bolting up the support brackets first on the front underneath the cowls. Big brackets. Support. Support, yes. Big brackets tying into lots of points under the cowl here. And then. Mucho support. <laughs> we've got a couple going on. And then we've got that big pillar that goes on top to connect the hoop. So that's why this front hoop doesn't need any additional supports, because uh, this is massive. Some progress going on with the new rack. The front hoop and the catwalk are installed. Almost. Couple of little, couple of little bolts to go, but oh, I was gonna show show everybody this. Now you take it off. Why are you taking it off? Okay, hang on. We'll be right back. All right, all right. Now we've got it. We, as in Dustin and Christian, bolted back up the hoop. Let's take a quick look at this underneath here. Hang on, just let me climb on this. Uh, Sean is gonna. No, don't test it yet. Get out of here. It's not bolted down. <laughs> hang on. Underneath here is some serious bracketry to support this. Obviously, this is just all plastic, so you can't mount a uh, windshield hoop and catwalk to the plastic. So that's reinforcing this, and we've got this huge outer reinforcement holding the hoop. We've got some nice new grab handles here once we put the steps on the hinges in a little bit. Oh, uh, Teddy wants to know how many people want an ice cap. I won't take an ice cap, but I'll take an iced coffee, no sugar. The question was how many people want Okay, I'll take cap. an ice cap. <laughs> <laughs> Can I climb on Are you yet? cleaning? I'm uh, cleaning off all the anti -seas. Oh, excellent. So we've got the sweet catwalk here across the top, which uh, do you think it's ready for testing? Oh. Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Give it a test. All right, here, John, film me. I don't know what the best way to get up here is. Without... We need the hinge step. Watch out for the antenna. Holy cow, Aha! Man. So, oh, rated for... <laughs> Move over! I'm like 150. How did I get up here? Uh, you were supposed to install the hinge steps first. You're gonna get the antenna to the crop. I don't know how you're getting down here, man. Oh, yeah, he'll just be up there until we're done. Going, and that's how to not get down off here. Jeez. We need the steps. We need the hinge steps. <laughs> there we go. We've tested it with uh, three people. Probably way more weight than Metal Cloak had intended for uh, hey, for this. What are you saying? I've been working out. <laughs> yeah, at the big gym. So, at the big gym. Christian's basically two guys. So yeah. there we go. I'm so awesome, I'm two guys. <laughs> so uh, we just tested it with six guys. <laughs> and we're making some progress here on the back. I managed to get one of these crazy brackets off from the Gobi rack. I don't think we're gonna have to take this rear bumper off at all. Because all we gotta do is drill two holes in here, mount the mount up, and then we can get underneath and screw the bolts down or tighten the bolts up. So we shouldn't need to take this bumper off, which was a huge pain for installing the Gobi rack. So plus one for the metal cloak rack. Although the front brackets were a little bit tricky and finicky. Took Christian a little while to do them, but he got them eventually and they are definitely stout. As you saw, we just stood on the hood. Still kind of annoyed with this damage back here, but maybe we'll try one of those dent removal services or uh, maybe we'll just slap a dirty and dangerous sticker on it. Uh, just a quick reminder, stickers, shirts, key tags, available, dirtyanddangerous.com, check it out. And uh, I'm gonna keep working on this other bracket because I got another one on the other side to take off. Chef John is making some progress on the not Jeep over here. It's got the front bumper, the worn winch on here, looking great. There's still a little bit of work happening with the sliders over on the side, but definitely a big improvement and step up, no pun intended, <laughs> from the plastic ones that come stock on the Forerunner. We're, <laughs> we're just getting the final pieces bolted onto the roof rack on the JL. This thing looks awesome. So we're gonna pull it out of here and I'll show you guys just what it looks like. Didn't quite get everything bolted on today, but I did get some of the door steps and as well uh, well, we got the rooftop tent on. Still have a couple grab handles that we need to put on, but we're kind of running out of time and whew, it is hot, like super hot. If I look red and sweaty, it is one of the hottest days of the year here and in the shop, super hot. So we're gonna get the JL out in a second. I'll show you just what the roof rack looks like a little better. Tomorrow we're heading out on a big adventure. 
We're gonna go hit the trails and give this new roof rack a try. Make sure you're subscribed and check out some of my other adventures. We've gone on a ton. I'll put some playlists down in the description if you want to check them out. Go take a look at some of the other videos. And if you want to know anything about the Eco Diesel's build, all the things that we've put on it, some of the thoughts that I've had and troubles with it along the way, there's playlists down in the description. Check them out. Go watch some of those other videos. Uh, you might find them either entertaining or informational. All right, real quick before we show you the jail, let's take a look at Chef John's new bumper. He's just pulling out of the shop right now. That is a huge change to the not Jeep. Look at that, plus we got the sliders. Let's take a little walk around here. What do you think of that, John? Looks amazing. What? Landon is a legend. <laughs> legend. A legend. Wow, look at this new bumper. Holy smokes. Well, we can finally get a winch on there, so when you get stuck, you're good to go. We don't have to keep pulling you out of stuff. You mean when you guys get stuck, so you don't have to reposition, uh, I can get you out. Careful who you're talking to <laughs> here. <laughs> I like that, nice and tucked away underneath there. That looks really yeah. good, man. I like that a lot. First time in the light. And we got the slider, so no more plastic on the side. Put some puddle lights in there. That looks really good. Oh. All right, let's take a look at the JL now. All right, guys, there it is. We have the Metal Cloak Adventure Rack System full roof rack install. We got the rooftop tent back up on there. Here are the front supports bolted onto the cowl. We can now support the weight on top of both the catwalk. Cool thing about this is it doesn't touch any of the window frame and you don't need the rest of the roof rack. You can just get this front hoop. Boy, does it ever change the look of the Jeep. If you're somewhere with branches, and they're hitting your eight pillars all the time, this would offer some great protection. I also added a couple of these hinge steps here. So now we can pull these down. I need to get some step sliders so that you've got a first step because it's really high right now. You've got nowhere to put your foot before you get up on this step. As well, we have some steps that are gonna go here on the bar so we can step from the bumper up to here and we're gonna add a grab handle up here in the top but on the back here if you're wondering how it secures to the Jeep itself well we've got these mount points now depending on the type of bumper you have Metal Cloak has different mounts we put a couple holes in the worn bumper and has bolted and uh, secured it from the bottom but nothing is touching the body now so we gotta get some of this crud off from the little panels that the Gobi rack has on there but you know, nothing touches the body. You shake this thing, the whole Jeep shakes. Doesn't touch the roof, doesn't touch the body at all. That's, and over here, we've got the body damage from the old rack where it pushed in right here, which that just sucks. We're gonna see if we can get that repaired. Now do keep in mind that with the roof rack on there, it is a little bit higher. We do have bars for the soft top. If you are getting this and you have a hard top, they do have different bars for the hard top, which are lower. The hard tops are a few inches lower than the soft tops on the JL. So the bars actually don't rise up in the back. They just come straight across and down and into the front hoop. So do keep that in mind that you're not going to have it quite as tall on a hard top. Real quick editor's notes, guys. I wanted to mention that these rails from the front to the back in the video, these are the first rails that Metal Cloak made for a soft top. And I've been talking with them about how high they are above the soft top because they are different from the hard top. And we're gonna look at doing some rails that bring this down a little bit closer to the roof as well, the crossbar mounting system that's on. I think there's several inches that we can remove if we change up the mounting a little bit. And so we're looking at some other mounting options and ways we can put the rooftop tent. In this video, we were trying to get it done. This is at like eight o'clock at night and we had to head out in the morning. So we wanted to install it the way Metal Cloak sent it and provide feedback and we didn't have time to fab anything up. So I agree, you guys are probably gonna comment the rooftop tent is sitting way too high and I will do a full review once we get to a final state of this rack and mounting system. But I just wanted to point that out while I'm sitting here editing this video. Huge thanks to Epic, the crew. Oh, look at that. Paul's <laughs> testing us. Didn't even notice him get up there. What are you doing, Paul? I like this, man. This is cool. All right, Paul, get off my Jeep. I'm trying to shoot an outro. Everybody at Epic Adventure Outfitters, can't thank them enough for all the help with 
my uh, rack changes. We had them install two racks because they helped with the Gobi rack too, if you didn't see that video. With that, I'm out of here. We're gonna go have some dinner. I'll see you guys next week in the next video.